What's up guys, it's Deara. I'm back with another video and today we're gonna be talking all about budgeting. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my August 2019 budgeting hack. So if you're interested in something like this, please stay tuned. All right guys, so you've clicked on this video because you wanna learn more about cash envelopes, you wanna learn more about a flight attendant salary. Maybe you just randomly stumbled upon it because YouTube promoted it. Either way, I'm happy you're here and I just wanna jump right in. So this, is my little wallet slash envelope holder for my funds for the month of August. For this video, I'm only going to be doing the first paycheck. So this will be everything that I need for the first two weeks of August. So I took out $315. Yes, I am strict. I am confident that I can make it through the first half of August with $315 apart from my like subscriptions those come out automatically from my account but this is just cash on hand I also use a credit card for my gas um, and what else for my groceries I'll be using money later on through the month because I don't need any groceries right now so this is my budget for everything besides subscriptions rent um, gas and groceries so these are my funds that I just will be spending day to day so let's go through the categories really quick I will share down below in the description box what the brand of this is and I'll share a link if Michael still carries it but the brand is called recollections and I'm pretty sure it's not for cash envelopes but that's what creativity does for you right so this is what we're gonna start out with right here is a little notepad where I just have all of the topics in order of the way that they're set up in the book. So I have tips, personal groceries, dining out, entertainment, miscellaneous, gas is on here but I won't be doing it today, medical, car maintenance, um, apartment, expensive, apartment expenses, um, travel, Christmas, a new apartment fund, and birthdays. So that's all that I have there and then below is just my address and my phone number in case I ever lose this that's a good tip if you're going to be carrying cash definitely include your information just in case you misplace it all right so moving on this is the first portion of the wallet and I made this um, this just says tips and that says personal so I'll just give you guys a brief little show through the book they didn't have matching ones so I had to improvise and get two of the pinks and then just two of the blacks on the back end this is what this one looks like so I put the money that I won't be needing right away alright guys so this is my very first time doing a cash envelopes video so a part of me if everything isn't perfect but let's just jump right in so this is my list of amounts of money that I'm gonna be putting into each fund sorry the paper is a little scraggly that's because I made a, a lot of adjustments to it so remember that this budget is not going to include groceries or gas and then right here is just my denomination so I needed two fifties seven twenties four tens and nine fives so we don't need that anymore let's get into the cash money moolah yes so this is a whopping three hundred and fifteen dollars so let's start with our first category which is tips I already included tips that was 10 ones because as a flight attendant I tipped the van driver so that was already set in place so our next category is personal and I said forty dollars for that so I'm gonna do two twenties tuck that right in there okay next category we're gonna close this up our next category is groceries which we're skipping next is dining out for dining out I said thirty dollars we're gonna do one thirty I mean 120 and 110 all right our next category is entertainment I said $15 mind you guys I like to entertain myself and 110 15 AMC has $5 movies on Tuesday, so that's typically my entertainment <laughs> if I decide to do anything crazy. Um, I'm also fasting from alcohol, so there's no need for me to go out and get drinks 
and normal 20 year old stuff so there we go entertainment is complete next up we have miscellaneous for miscellaneous I said $25 so we're gonna do 120 and 15 And I thought I was going to have to worry about this money falling out. But do y'all see how tricky it is to get it in there? I feel like it won't be falling out anytime soon. Alright, so miscellaneous is done. We're skipping gas. So let's move along. Alright, medical. So for medical, I said 15 So this is just for like small little co-pays or parking at the doctor's office. We're going to do one five and one ten. Ooh, the bank is wrong for that, giving me this little taped up $5 bill. The disrespect. Okay. So, just a little heads up. These next, like, couple of categories are for more, like, saving purposes. So that I can have that money without touching my actual savings. And these will probably just build up over time. So, car maintenance. I said... Maintenance, $50. One whopping little 50. We're going to put that right in there. And then next up, apartment. So this is just like little knickknacks, maybe like laundry, um, soap, paper towels, sponges, all that jazz. So for apartment, I said $15. And the reason I did so little is because we already have basically everything that we need for this month, but just in case something random comes up. So 110, 15. Okay, next up, did I skip one? Nope, apartment. And then this is that last place where these are basically just going to accrue over time. I don't plan on really touching these except for birthdays because my little brother's birthday is this month. So let's start with travel. For travel, I said $25. So $120 and $15. And this we're going to have to fold a little bit smaller. I am planning a trip hopefully within the next two months. So this will probably stack up for the next two months and then I'll be able to spend it. Whoops. Okay, we're just going to put this like this for now and I will fix it later. Next up, we have new apartment. So I'm hoping to move by the beginning of the year. For a new apartment, we said $50. So we're just going to do one big 50. Yes, queen. Next up, we have Christmas. For Christmas, I put $25. And I should have started this a lot sooner. Unfortunately, I didn't. $121.5. All right. But I think the next six months or four months, what is it, August? August, September, October, November, December. So the next five months, I'll be able to save up enough. I might increase it the next two months. So next up, we have birthdays. And that's our last category for birthdays. I said 25. So once again, we have 120 and 15. And we're all done. Yay. Okay, perfect. So those will push down a little more. All right, so I got them all pushed down, and now we can close her up. Yay! So just like that, all my envelopes are filled, and I'm obsessed. <laughs> That's my little baby. Nice and packed. So I will add the gas in the groceries eventually. But if I don't need it, I'd rather not be carrying it around. All right, guys. So that pretty much wraps up today's cash envelope portion of the video. If you are interested in learning a little bit more about flight attendant salary, please stay tuned. So with my budget as a flight attendant, I don't make a lot of money, guys. I really don't. So I have to compensate my lifestyle with other means of income. So whether that be YouTube, that be Poshmark, or any other like services. Maybe I provide tutoring or I create online 
courses or I sell merchandise, I have to supplement my income. I'm just being honest. I'm a three-year flight attendant, but I do pretty darn well for myself. And even if I didn't have additional income, I would be okay because one, I save, and two, I just budget. I don't spend above my means. I live within my means. So with this new budgeting system, I hope to be able to accrue more money for things that I want to do in life just for the hell of it like I don't want to have to penny pinch I don't want to have to live like I'm poor um, I just believe that I'm called to more than that I want to be a generous giver and in order to give I have to have so in that faith I am just trusting that my finances are going to continue to increase as I'm a good steward of them so I guess when it comes to flight attendant budgeting with being a three-year flight attendant I'm living in New Jersey it's extremely expensive do I want to live on my own absolutely but does my finances speak to me living alone at this time no it is more cost effective for me to have roommates I'm barely here and I have the master in my apartment so it kind of works out to where I still feel like I'm alone for the most part but when it comes to other things like groceries gas I never go without I'm never hungry. Um, I don't really spend a lot of money on layovers. I definitely try my best to budget and meal prep. That helps me a ton. I have an automatic withdrawal to my savings. Um, I'm not sure what kind of other things you guys are interested in knowing. When it comes to like drinking and spending money frivolously on things like that, I try not to. I am a shopaholic, so I do have my little budget set aside for my Amazon Prime because sis needs to splurge a little bit sometimes. I definitely want to treat myself. Um, people have taught me that, you know, you work hard for your funds, so you should be able to enjoy them. You don't want to just be living a life where you save, 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 and you never enjoy life at all. Like, invest in your experiences. One of the biggest hacks I've learned is to find a career or a job, a side hustle that is a part of your passion so that, you know, like for me, example, I love traveling, so I got a job that allows me to travel for free. That cuts down tremendously on so many of my expenses because my airfare is free I get discounts at hotels but there's also things like hostels Airbnbs like you have to work around your budget so I hope you guys enjoyed this video those were just a few little tips and tricks for you know how to deal with a flight attendant budget if you're considering this career field but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up share it subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching <laughs>